Guys, have you ever just wanted to make a headcrab game, but you just can't figure out the code to do so? I've been there. But I am going to teach you how to do that. With my headcrab. It does not have animations, but you can always just make your own. You know, you don't have to leave it like this. Although I think you can't animate it. Nope. Cannot. Well, this will be hat Dang. What chance did I get from just clicking it? Alright, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a head crab or just using my head crab. I'm actually gonna show you how it looks like right now. So let me commit. <laughs> how it looks so they will ragdoll and you probably seen this in my become xn game where the claws kind of expand out and it gets a little tint on it well it's kind of remade because have you realized that this is not moving anymore you see in the actual game the, the head crop will be moving but it's not because guess what we're the actual we're the actual player that means we just cloned this guy. What you mean we did that? Put our character to the clone and then deleted the character after. That is exactly how we did it. I did not know it was that easy, but it just is. Anyways, you can always change. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I will show you what the animations are too. And for this sake, I use free models, free model animations. I really just wanted to showcase this. So you can press F to, to attack. And only a lot of damage is that strong. You can, I will change it later. Yes, you press F. That's the attack. You can, you can change it though. And yes, it's a, it's a model compatible, and I'm going to show you that by becoming a head crab. And I'll just skip this. big ol' attack button on your screen, guess what? Click that thing. Yup, mobile compatible. We got mobile support. And now, let me actually show you how to animate this. So after you got done animating or getting your free model animation from the catalog, you will go to the head crab, right? And then you will go into the head crab player. Now this is where all the scripts are, because I wanted to get it organized. So you click that, and then yes, there's a mutation. You also need a, need a mutation animations too. So you go to play animation. And this is where the full script is. So, you see, it's not that hard. You have an animation zombie, that is your animate. And this is where you actually put your zombie animations in. And after you put the zombie animations in, then you're done. And the anim, that script, is the actual hitbox handler and the welding to get the scripts in. And and there's this attack script. You can actually change the key binds right here. In the space, I don't know that, but that's here. So let's remove that. Key bind. And that is what you actually be using the attack. You can change it to E, R, I don't really care, but mine is just F. And here is the, the, the things. So you can always change it. So I think it's kind of high, so I'm just going to put that back. And... 
this longer. So I... Yeah. We did, we did. Then it will fire this, and yeah, there's not much to be said about this. And this, these are where the uh, the remote events are. Uh, so we don't need that. We need the play sound in that. So this is the damage. It's pretty high. You can also have some knockback. If you don't want the knockback, just delete the whole line. But I I like the knockback, so I'll just keep it. Sorry, I have hiccups. And if you don't want this playback speed to be random, that's fine. And this is what the actual animations is. And that is your attack animation right there. You put the animation ID, and I will actually show you if you're actually new to this. And these are the sounds. It's it sound. Don't know why that's here. Oh, I use it for a fast song. Zombie, my bad. Oh, I hate these hiccups. Alright. I like 60 though, because. No. But. Oh, yeah. Here's an idle handler. And I'm actually going to make this so you can make it random. So, hold on. Local. Hold on. I'm just going to do a little coding right here. There we go. There we go. And you can change how long you want this to be. So you can clone as many sounds as you want and how much you like. And that's completely fine with me. Okay, now we're moving on to the mutation script. This is where it gets a little bit complicated. Don't, don't worry about this. It's just to set the health infinite. Really just could have used math that use, but you see I was using become Xian code. I just edited it a little bit. And the ragdoll. You can change the time. You just have to change that time right there and this time right here. And make it sh make sure it's uh one below the time you set for it. Or else it will kill you instantly. That's what I've learned. And it's it gets to animate and then the animate gets that you and then you change the IDs here. You change the IDs here. If you're wondering why it's staying the same animations, because you, you're not changing it, you have to change it right here. Um, and then it replaces the attack with this new attack, which is right here. Oh, hold on. I actually did not edit this at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so I just made a little code, just in case it kind of breaks when the script lags. So it will actually check if it's right there. If it's not, it will insert a new mobile script, mobile button. But if it's not, it will leave it be. That's the script. So I think that's it now. Oh yeah, these these are uh, the GNOME animation. I mean, I can't speak today. These are the GNOME sounds, and you can change this as well. So um, yeah, I actually have, I actually have mine. I don't think there's any GNOME sounds on the catalog, so I think you just have to import them yourself. If you don't know how, then just leave it be. You know, I really wish Roblox didn't delete every single sound. You have to check every single sound if it's yours or not. Like, you have to verify your own sound. Like, how does that make any sense? But, uh, yeah. I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I forget something? Hmm. Oh, these are the hurt sounds. Hurt sounds for zombies. <coughs> yeah, you can insert as many sounds as you want. I don't really care. And that's basically it. I will be leaving this in the description. And if you have any problems, just ask me, alright?